What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we are doing another Pokemon opening. We have another one of these Marowak GX boxes. So recently we did open up one of these and we weren't too crazy about the product, but the last time it really came through and picked up one of the uh, cards from Team Up that we've been searching for since the beginning. So I was really happy with that. I'm going to see if we can't duplicate some of that luck with another box. Let's get into it. So I feel like this product does get a bad rap and when I think about it this thing is not too different than the other team up uh, tins. The difference is that instead of the jumbo card uh, you get the tin itself and then it does swap out a GX and while the GX definitely isn't as good um, it does come at a cheaper price so in that respect I do think it's worth it. Uh, so it does come with a breakthrough, two for one forbidden light, two team up and then we have two burning shadows and two unbroken bonds as well. Uh, we're going to start with this breakthrough pack, see what we can pull. This is one of the sets I'm not all that familiar with. So it's always fun to see cards, different cards. I believe this one is three. And we're starting off with a heavy ball. Snorlax, that's cool art. Stun. <laughs> this guy's so weird. Fennekin, Zorua, Flabebe, Vanillite. Zoru again, Fisherman Reverse, and then a Noivern, regular rare. And we're going to move straight into our Forbidden Light Pack. Okay, let's see, we have Water Energy, a Floet. Magneton, Klefki, Flabebe, Gibble, a Clauncher, Noibat, a Pancham, ooh, Baby Buzzwall for our reverse. That's a pretty good pull right there. And then a Torterra. This guy's a turtle, but I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and, whoa, whoa. okay, on to team up. Got a little lost right there. As always guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already a sub. And additionally, check down below, we do have some links including a link to our eBay store. Alright, let's see, we have a Tauros, Persian, Metal Goggles, let me pull the um, gold Metal Goggles not too long ago. Mareep, Pharaoh Seed, Charmander, a Helioptile, Garvantula for the reverse. Ooh, that's a rare. Nice. Pretty good hit right there. And B Sharp. Not crazy about B Sharp. Okay, so far nothing. This is the last pack for the box. Let's see if this pack if this box is gonna be a dud or if it's going to be a huge success like last time. When you only get four packs, definitely like it's not terribly surprising if there's nothing in there. That's the only thing when you only have like uh four or so packs. So we'll see if we can't avoid the um the donut as far as polls go. We got Tentacruel, Ingo and Emmett, Wartortle, Litten, Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, a Ball Pit Meowth, Larvitar again with that sweater background and for our last pack in our Marowak GX box we got a ooh Electro Charger very nice let's see I believe this uh, flip two coins yeah I don't I feel like this card is not uh, widely used like the um, Electro power itself is much more useful, although I think it's in a different set. But this guy can help you retrieve some. I feel like I haven't seen this used very much, but definitely uh, Electro power is a thing, so this guy definitely has some potential. But we did pull a gold rare, and I'm definitely totally stoked about that. Uh, so another successful Alolan Marowak box. Guys, these ones aren't bad. <laughs> I feel like it has a, gets a bad reputation un, unfairly. A little bit of luck and uh, definitely cheaper than those tag team tins. Alright, moving on to Burning Shadows. We have a, a Wick, Mount Lanakila, Wishful Baton, Riolu running on the beach, Cue to Fly, Tynamo, Dabbing Duskull, Inke. Our reverse is a Curlia, and then we have Meowstic Regular Rare. Let's move to a Necrozma pack. Ah, I'm actually gonna set this code card aside. Um, 
I am starting... I'll probably try to start playing some Pokemon PTCGO. Uh, however, I'm going to need... I kind of want to try some meta-relevant decks. So it's going to take a little bit to get the cards required for that. So we have a Stuffle, Crib Brawler, Escape Rope Reverse, and then a Araquanid. Regular rare. All right, on to the Unbroken Bonds. Let's get something good. Okay, let's see. Fairy Energy, Togetic, Fairy Charm, Crackle Rock, Doe Duo, Rhyhorn, Meltan, a Spearow, Lickitung, another Lickitung, back to back Lickitungs, and then a Cleef Fable. Let's see. Moon Watching Dance. This attack does 30 damage for each of your Pokemon that has Fairy Energy attached to it. Each of your Pokemon, not the number of fairy energies itself. Okay, on to our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see, I feel like it's been a while since we pulled a Sylveon Gardevoir. So, I'll mind one of those. I feel like I haven't seen those be too successful, despite the initial thought that that deck could be pretty good. We have a Murkrow, Oddish, Sanchu for the reverse, and for our last pack we have a Just a Salazzle. Once during your turn, you may discard a Fire Engine from your hand if you do draw three cards. Interesting. Not, not bad. Okay, so we only did get one hit, but it is a gold rare, so we did hit a secret rare, and that's always a very good opening. Um, and it did come from this Marowak box, so uh, pretty good. And that comes with the promo, which did we did manage to get out of the box successfully without it taking any damage. So anytime you can do that, that's a, sadly, that's a win in itself. So overall, a very solid opening. And um, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching this. For all the support, like, comment, subscribe, all down below. And that's all we have for today. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.